One of his nicknames is the King of Cool. If you add up the combined box office receipts of films in which he has starred or co-starred, the total comes to 3.95 billion US dollars, making him the second highest grossing movie star of all time, only beaten by voiceover legend Frank Welker. He has been married to his wife, Latanya Richardson, for 27 years. And his list of film work includes such iconic roles as Jules in Pulp Fiction and Neville in the cult favorite Snakes on a Plane. Everything about Samuel L. Jackson's life, both professionally and personally, says success and stability. But it wasn't always this way. One of Hollywood's late bloomers, Samuel was already 46 when Quentin Tarantino cast him in Pulp Fiction and his career exploded. Before that, however, he'd struggled for years trying to break into the business and nearly wound up in prison after becoming involved in the civil rights movement while at college. In 1968, he attended Martin Luther King's funeral as an usher and was so angry about the assassination that the following year, he and some other students at Moreland College took several members of the board, including Martin Luther King Sr., hostage. Their demands, which included changes to the curriculum and governance, were met, but Samuel wound up suspended for two years. In the early 90s, just as his film career was beginning to spark, his addiction to cocaine spiraled so far out of control that he overdosed, and he had to be admitted to rehab. Once clean, however, he was cast as a cocaine addict in Spike Lee's Jungle Fever. The role received wide acclaim and he has never looked back since. These days, his only addiction is nothing stronger than a vigorous round of golf.